peeps. It has been a very active week in Halloween Horror Nights news because we have two original house announcements from Universal Studios Orlando. On Friday, May 17th at Spooky Empire, a horror convention down in Florida, Universal Studios Orlando officially announced the first house coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year, and it's a sequel house. It's a sequel to their original property, Slaughter Cinema, and they will be featuring Slaughter Cinema 2, which will head back to the Cary Drive-In, where you will walk through scenes of multiple creature features. I think they mentioned eight potential creature features, including a grindhouse gore movie, a spaghetti western, and more. And today, they have announced the second original house coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year, Goblin's Feast. And in Goblin's Feast, you'll visit the Goblin Village, where a lavish feast is being prepared for goblins, orcs, hobgoblins, and witches, and you're the main course. I kind of love that the first two announcements for Halloween Horror Nights are their original property houses this year. Super excited about the return of Slaughter Cinema. I enjoyed the first one. We've obviously seen those properties um, or those fake movies from Slaughter Cinema featured in Halloween Horror Nights houses since, like the Yeti houses. And, um, you know, I think it, they always tend to have a lot of fun with those, uh, the, the movies, the fake movies that are featured in Slaughter Cinema. And I think we'll, we'll get some fun new ones this year and maybe some sequels to some properties that were featured the first time. And Goblin's Feast sounds, you know, obviously they've done medieval houses or medieval themed houses in the past, most recently like Dueling Dragons last year. So um, yeah, one of the things that Universal Studios does well is houses based on medieval properties or medieval concepts like castles and, and feast halls and, and bringing horror to those settings. So I think Goblin's Feast, you know, that's one that uh, that we definitely didn't see coming and I'm looking forward to it. So what do you all think? Are you excited about the two original properties that they've announced for this year's Halloween Horror Nights? What are you most looking forward to them announcing next? Leave us a comment down below, and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you know when we release upcoming Halloween Horror Nights content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.